Hey guys, exciting Halo 4 news. Team Snipers will be added to matchmaking on the 19th of November with one notable change. There will be no secondary weapon. This change was made to focus on a pure sniping experience. Having said that, secondary weapons may come back in future versions of Team Snipers. Here are the maps that will appear in the Team Snipers playlist. Longbow, Complex, Solace, Ragnarok, Vortex, Exile and Meltdown. If you are unfamiliar with Team Snipers, here are some tips and tricks to help you become a more efficient killing machine. Use callouts to identify and flank campers. Use the swap weapons button to quickly exit zoom. Sometimes melee may be the best up close option, especially if the enemy has taken a body shot. Learn hiding and sniping spots on maps, not only to provide cover while firing, but to check for enemies when surveying the battlefield. Sneak up on scoped in enemies for assassinations. Watch some pro player sniper videos on YouTube. Angles are important. And here is a preview of Team Sniper's planned settings. As you know, certain playlists in Halo 4 feature personal ordnance. What is personal ordnance exactly? Well, as you earn medals, you fill up your ordnance meter. When that meter is full, you earn a reward drop for yourself from the infinity. The reward comes in the form of three randomized power weapons, grenades, or power-ups. For those of you that like knowing everything there is to know about the intricacies of the game, here are the numbers that determine the percentage chance of getting each reward in personal ordnance on a medium-sized maps. For example, damage boost has a weight of 1, with a total of 7 in its column, so you will have a 1 in 7 chance of receiving damage boost in an ordnance package. And here are the numbers for large maps. Thumbs up if you found this video useful, and if you haven't already done so, why not subscribe for daily Halo 4 videos. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.